Hi there, Lee Griggs Arnold, rendering specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to cover the out direction parameter of the distance shader, which returns the direction to the nearest surface. So we connect the out color X to the color R of the flat shader. You can see the distance just in that direction. Same with the Y to so the green and Z to the blue. So as to move the cube up, you can see the out direction Y and with the green color. So this opens up some possible creative uses for the distance shader. So maybe we want to create a CD shader. Okay, so I've got a disc here and there's a sphere in the center with the Clip Geo shader assigned to it to cut out the center. And this will also act for our distance shader as well. Okay, so I'm going to create a standard surface shader. And call that CD, assign that to the disc. And then I'm going to increase the metalness to 1 and the anisotropy to 0.9. Okay, and then so for the colors, we can create a distant shader. And I want to connect the out direction to the base color of the stand surface. So out color R, base color R. And do the same for Y to the green and Z to the blue. Now we just need to increase the distance value. We can leave a little bit at the end. And then if we rotate the specular rotation, so you get this effect. It's quite nice. Maybe we just want the Red and green, so we can disconnect the blue. And there you have it. Okay, so that's one use. Let's have a look at another use. So I've got a building facade here. So I've got some ledges that are poking out here. So I'm going to use a distance shader to create some wear and tear and dirt under the ledges. So I'll start off, I'm going to create a ramp, RGB, for our colours. I'm going to multiply it onto the building texture. So Connect the ramp to the multiplier of the image shader. Make sure to set the ramp to custom so that we can connect this shader to it. But um, I'm going to use the out direction. So we want to under ledges so that's going to be distant, distance out direction Y to the ramp input. And we just need to change the ramp slightly. Invert the effect, increase the distance. So now you can see we're getting black underneath the little here in the y direction. Go back to the ramp and just lighten that black slightly. You can also reduce the number of samples and soften the effect and change the distance. So that's without it to zero for distance and that's with it. You could also do the same with the X direction, so, so out direction X to the input instead. You see it in the X direction now, so that could be, almost looks like fire damage. Okay, so I've got another use case for the distance out direction shader parameter. Maybe you want to apply some makeup to the skin around her eyes. So I've got the eyeball geometry here and the head geometry here with the skin shader on the head, the image texture there. So I can create a ramp RGB for the color of the makeup. And make sure the type set to custom. Just connect that to the multiply of the skin texture. And just reverse the colors here. Maybe we've got some different color for the makeup as well. And we need to connect the distant shader to the ramp. Up direction X to start to the input of the ramp. Like so. Then increase the distance so you can see we're getting in the X direction. Likewise, if you do the Y direction and the up direction Z as well. So we can change the distance value. And could use the number of samples, maybe soften them a little bit. 
we go back to the X direction, maybe we want to reverse it onto the other side for whatever reason. We could use a compare math node. Our direction X to the input of the compare and the out value into the input of the ramp. So now we can change our test. So that's less than the X and that's more than with the X. So go as experiment with these different values as well. But, uh, out direction Z on its own seems to work fine here. Okay, so there's some different use cases for the out direction for distance shader. Which uh, gives you a lot of creative opportunities for shading in Arnold. Okay, thanks for watching and bye for now.